under the sea, under the sea. This fish is swimming where not much is living under the sea. Hey guys, welcome back to The Stemulus. I'm Steph Evs, and here's what happened this week in STEM. Scientists from the University of Hawaii, Newcastle University, and the University of Washington have discovered a new species of fish that just busted the record for deepest living fish on Earth. Despite looking like a Rocky Mountain oyster that somehow managed to turn into a tadpole, Pseudoloparis swirae, aka the Mariana snailfish, is able to survive at a depth of over 26,000 feet, which is over five miles below the surface. As its name might indicate, this could only happen in one place in the ocean, and that's the Mariana Trench. Located near Guam, the Mariana Trench is the deepest place on Earth, reaching a maximum known depth of over 36,000 feet at its southern tip, known as the Challenger Deep. To put that into perspective, if you dropped Mount Everest into the Challenger Deep, its peak would still be over a mile underwater. That's deeper than middle school meets poetry, which was admittedly not that deep, but at the time I thought I was the next big Robert Frost. Dream big, kids. Anyway, while the Mariana snailfish may not reside at the deepest point in the trench, it's still putting up with an awfully hostile natural environment. On top of being dark and cold, it's also under immense pressure, over 37,000 pounds per square inch. That's more than the weight of one Greyhound bus pressing on every square inch of its body. I guess you could say the Mariana snailfish quite literally thrives under pressure. No, still not funny? Okay. So how exactly does this squishy looking fishy survive in one of the most inhospitable environments on the planet with its paper thin skin and underdeveloped skeleton? One thing that helps is a little something called trimethylamine inoxide or TMAO, a chemical that exists in fish's bodies. This chemical allows the molecules in their bodies to be able to withstand the massive pressures that they see at the depths they live at. However, scientists are confident that they won't be able to find anything swimming any deeper due to the fact that the pressure below around 27,000 feet or 8,200 meters is so great that a fish's body couldn't have enough of a concentration of TMAO, and as a result, the proteins in its body would destabilize. In addition, living at this depth actually helps the Mariana snailfish stay on top of the food chain since not many predators live this deep in the ocean. As a result, they don't have to worry about being eaten or competing with other fish for food, and they are able to thrive. When they were first sighted back in 2014, scientists didn't just observe one at a time, but usually several. While it may sound like we're finding all sorts of wildlife down in the deepest parts of our ocean, there is still so much we don't know. It's estimated that we've explored less than 5% of our entire ocean, so the chances that we'll find even more strange new species hiding in the depths are incredibly favorable. So that brings us to our question of the day. Pseudoloparis swirei was named for HMS Challenger Officer Herbert Swire, who published journals during an 1870s British expedition that led to the discovery of thousands of new ocean species and the Mariana Trench itself. If you had the opportunity to name a new species of fish, what would you name it and why? Let me know in the comments section down below. As always, if you'd like to check out this story a little bit more in depth, I'll include links to my sources down below, along with links to all of my social media and my Patreon page, so feel free to check that out in your free time. If you like this video and want to see more awesome STEM-related content just like this, feel free to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my future content. Don't forget, if you see any really cool STEM-related news stories throughout the week, please feel free to send them to me on Twitter at, at the stimulus using the hashtag twistem, and they just might make it into one of these episodes. But with that, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time.